What do you get when you cross a spider with a goat? A silk fiber stronger than steel, yet more elastic than nylon. Canadian researchers implanted a spider's web-spinning genes into a goat's mammary glands. The result? Goat's milk with silk proteins, the raw material for a fabric strong enough to be bulletproof. Granite is one of the strongest stones on Earth, and it's the darling of decor these days. As an indoor-outdoor building material, it's timeless, elegant, and resistant to acid rain. Nature's granite factory lies many kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. Boiling molten rock called magma builds up pressure from the intense heat and rises through cracks and crevices in the Earth's crust. As it rises, it slowly cools and solidifies into granite. Most granite is buried under sedimentary rock, which makes up most of the Earth's surface. The challenge is to extract as much granite from the quarry as possible while losing as little as possible to damage from the extraction process. They start by outlining a section of rock wall up to 30 meters long by 7 meters wide. They use a gas flame to burn long narrow channels to free up the sides. Then they drill holes 7 meters deep along the back and bottom. They feed explosive cable into the holes. Then they set it off. The explosion detaches the section. Then they use a combination of drills, steel pegs, plates and wedges to cut it down and cut it down further until they have rough blocks measuring three meters long by a meter and a half wide and deep, a size the granite factory can handle. The blocks may be small, but each one weighs more than 20,000 kilograms. At the factory, the first cut is called slabbing. They use this type of saw to cut slabs more than five centimeters thick the blade's metal segments contain synthetic diamond particles, which create the friction needed to make the cut. Water keeps the saw from overheating. It's a slow process. The saw cuts less than two square meters of granite per hour. They use a gang saw to cut slabs thinner than five centimeters to make kitchen countertops, for example. This saw has steel blades tense enough not to bend under the pressure of cutting and calibrate it to cut as straight as possible. The gang saw cuts at a rate of about eight square meters per hour. It takes three entire days to cut through the rough block. Once a slab is cut, it goes for polishing. This is what will bring out the beauty of the stone. The polishing line has 19 heads, each of which has six bricks that polish by abrasion, like sandpaper. The brick grains get progressively finer as you go down the line. The polishing line processes about a square meter of granite per minute. For a high gloss finish, a slab goes through all 19 heads. For a semi-gloss finish, it goes through just the first 10 heads. For a rough finish, slabs skip the polishing line altogether and instead go through a process called flaming. With a stream of water to keep the slab from cracking under the heat, they run a propane flame at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit across the surface. This intense heat makes the quartz inside the granite explode, creating a rough surface. They often use this technique for non-slip flooring. After the finish, the last step is to cut the slabs to specifications. Granite is composed of various minerals 
They're interlocked like pieces in a jigsaw puzzle, giving the stone its trademark speckles and its remarkable strength.